On September 8 and 9, two of the best billiard players in the world will be fighting here in the Philippines. It is dubbed as the Face Off Series 1, an event that you wouldn't want to miss. Dennis Arculio made a name in the billiard scene in the year 2000 by winning the Cebu Open Championship Tournament. Soon, he started to conquer the billiard scene not only in his hometown, but also in the international scene. Taiwanese ace billiard legend Yang Ching Shun carved his name in the international scene in 1998 in the Asian Games in Bangkok, Thailand by winning the gold medal. From that day on, there's no stopping this man from Taiwan as he gathered more titles in the international scene, earning him the nickname Son of Pool. The date is set, the players are ready, and everyone else is anticipating this wonderful event. Will the son of Pool Yang Ching Soon be the victor once again? Or will Dennis, the Robocop or Kulio, have his sweet, sweet revenge? Well, guys, all your questions will be answered this upcoming September 8th and 9, 2009 at Club Capo to Mas Murato. It is the Face Off Series 1, or Kulio versus Yang one more time again this is rain and i am inviting you to please please do log in at www.jbet.net for more insights about this event here with one of the players for the World Cup of Pool. His name is Raj the Hitman Hunda. Wait, it's a bit hard to pronounce Hunda. And he hails all the way from London, but he represents India. Both your parents are uh, from India, right? Your That's mom correct, and dad. yeah. Mom and dad are both uh, born, and, born and raised in India. Mm -hmm. But um, I was born and raised in London, but I'm 100% true Indian. Okay, so why do they call you Hitman? Uh, it was hard to explain, mm -hmm. but um, I think because I got good aim, you know. That's right. And if you see me on the rooftop, you might have a problem. So that's why they call me the hitman. Okay, Raj, I want to know, when did you start playing billiards? What, what inspired you to get into the sport? I started playing when I was 17. I mm -hmm. think... Um, All the way, so how old are you now? I'm 27, so <laughs> I've been playing 10 age. years. Yeah, I'm 27, Seven. so I'm getting old now, but... Uh, I started playing because it kept me out of trouble, you know? Really? Yeah, I was very naughty when I was young, so, you know, it seemed like the right thing to do, and uh, I just fell in love with the game, and, you know, I'm still here playing it. It's my career now, so, you know, I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. Lucky guy, yeah. So, from all of the, uh, like, nine ball games, what's your specialty? Nine ball. I'm, I'm definitely a nine ball player. I prefer that. I think eight ball is it's a nice game, but it's not so exciting, mm -hmm. you know? So, nine ball's good fun. I like ten ball, too. It's a good game. If there's any players that you look up to? It's hard to find inspiration from new players, but there's, there's a lot of players I look up to, like, you know, Efren and Bustamante. Mm -hmm. Bustamante has always been, uh, yeah, definitely actually has been my favorite player mm -hmm. to watch, you know, very loose and uh, just his style of play. So much talent. He's a great player. I like him, yeah. He's a cool dude. How do you find Filipino players? Are, are they challenging? Uh, uh, they're, they're very short in general. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just <laughs> But they're they can play really well. <laughs> they all it's play good. The they all play good. I think there's maybe like 10 champions in the Philippines that mm -hmm. can win any tournament at any time. There's uh, definitely the toughest players in the world to play and uh, they all play with a lot of heart. So, you know, I give them all a lot of respect. Okay. During the World Cup of Pool, you fought against uh, what country? This recent one. Indonesia. 
Did, Indonesia. did you win? No, we didn't win. We didn't win. How was the whole game? Um, race to eight is so short, you know, it's like you blink and it's over. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's like, it's like fighting many peck hours over like that. You know? <laughs> that fast. <laughs> yeah, that fast. So it's, uh, it's just one of those things. I mean, it's a doubles game too. So, you, you know, you're reliant on your partner. My partner's not the strongest player in the world. Mm -hmm. He's still learning the game. And um, that's it. You know, we just, we just learn from the, learn from the match and, you know, mm -hmm. try and do better next time. That's Have all fun. you can do. Yeah, Have that's fun. it. But I still, I had fun. Even though I lost, I had fun. So, you know, trying to enjoy myself. I am sure you have a lot of fans out there, a lot of little kids who are inspiring to be billiard players like you are, professional billiard players. What would be your advice? Maybe there's a 17-year-old Raj out there watching us. So what would you tell Raj? What would I tell him? Uh, play pool, be cool, be but, cool. Stay, but stay in school. Stay in school. <laughs> Very good advice. So thank you so much, Raj, for your time. No problem. Thank I hope you. I see you again. You will good do. luck in your games. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'm here with one of the billiard players from Finland. His name is Mika Imonen. Did I get that right? Yes, you got that. Imonen. And he came all the way from Finland. He's based in New York. And he was here because he was playing for a World Cup series for billiards. That's right. right. And unfortunately, too bad, he lost against... China. China. Right. So how was the whole game? Like, I don't know anything that much about billiards, but how was it? Was it challenging? Were there parts that you thought you were going to bag the cup and stuff like that well you know it was a the second round and uh, in a 32 um, player uh, group you need to win five games to win the whole tournament right mm -hmm. so we won the first round against Sweden second round we up against uh, China and um, our game today didn't go as planned we thought we were gonna have it you know we were up to zero in the beginning looking good and breaking but then the, the roles turned against us and uh, China was really capitalizing on, you know, like easy layouts. They, they were breaking well and they were getting the run of the balls and uh, we the only shots that we saw in the end was like a push out or safety and uh, so it's, it's hard to it's hard to catch a gear, you know, like hard to get confident when you don't really get opportunities. Mm -hmm. So that was just one of those games that you um, it happens, you know, it's, it's the way the sport is, you know, it's race to eight and a short race, so you don't really get to measure your skills on, on a different level, you know, like in some of these challenge mat match uh, series that are race to 50 or 100. Okay, I understand. You can't win all of them, right? Can't win all. And since I'm Panoy, I really have to ask, do Filipino challengers put up a, put up a good fight? Like when you compete against them, like Efren or Julio and all the others. Oh yeah, they they are the toughest ones to beat. Yeah, they always uh, step up to the plate when uh, you know the when the money's on the line. I guess you know they're 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 good fighters. They really uh, fight hard and and uh, you know they're mentally tough and they know a lot about the game. They they have a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, idols to look up to, you know, like uh, Efren, you know, used to be Perico a while ago, a long time ago, and now they have these young, younger stars like, uh, you know, uh, Bagulayan, Orokulo, and mm -hmm. uh, Alcano. So, uh, they're, they're, uh, there's a lot of talent here, and uh, it's yeah, always, it but it's fun to play them, you know, because it's, it's always, uh, you know, you, you gotta test your uh, skills against the best guys, so. It's rewarding when you beat them. <laughs> it is rewarding if you beat them. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a game, so it's really, it, it really has to be like that. Anyways, how many times have you been here in the Philippines? I actually lost count, but I think it might be the, this might be the 21st time, time that I'm here. So with, uh, after met first a, like, time... a really nice Filipino girl. How, how come I didn't meet you before? <laughs> Anyways, right. I came here for the first time in mm -hmm. 2002. Like, oh, have you tried any of our foods? Adobo? Yes. Or balot? 
I've tried everything, sinigang, adob adobo, balot, lechon. Mm. Lechon is my favorite, but uh, actually the Cebu, Cebu style. Cebu lechon, lechon. Is, yeah, it's the best. The one with the soy sauce. Juice. No, right? no, no, no. It's that one. It's not the one with the soy sauce. It's the one that just tastes good as it is. You don't have to dip it. Oh, okay. Anyways, thank you so much, Mika. I hope I see you again. Thank you, Ryan. And I hope I get to watch one of your games. So if you I have hope any... I can educate you more about the game. Yeah, maybe one time <laughs> you can teach me. Okay. So I'll see you again no if problem. you have a game here in the Philippines. And All thank right. you so much for your time. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I'd like to invite you to the Face Off Series 1, Orculio versus Yang. You can watch it live on the internet and on TV on our very own Solar Sports or the Manila Jockey Club channel. Or you can even log on to clubcapo.tv presented by our very own jbet.net. It will be on September 8 and 9, 2009, 6 to 10 p.m. Don't miss it.